Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The next method of capital budgeting is called internal rate of return method. Also, we can call it IRR. Okay? Internal, a simple definition is given here. Internal rate of return is a percentage discount rate applied in the capital investment decision, which brings the cost of the projects and it is expenditure and, at, and it is expected future inflows into equality. It means PI is equal to zero. What do you mean by this one? Although there is a lengthy definition for internal rate of return, but let me explain the internal rate of return in one point. Internal rate of return shows the profitability of the project in thermal percentage by considering the time value of money. If internal rate of return of the project is 10, it means profitability of the project is 10. If internal rate of return of the return of the project is for example 15 it means the profitability of the project is 15 percentage right how we can decide based on the internal rate of return if internal rate of return or we can say i or r is greater than cost of capital the project should be accepted if internal rate of return is less than cost of capital the project should be rejected in the next chapter, we will discuss about the cost of capital, how to calculate cost of capital. Cost of capital means interest rate. Cost of capital means holder rate. Cost of capital means, for example, cutoff rate or discount rate or so on. Right? Here, we have to find out the PI. Let us say, for example, I have found the, sorry, the IRR. We have, let us say, for example, we have found the RRR, IRR. And the value of IRR is, for example, equal to 15 percentage. How many percentage? 15 percentage. And let us say, for example, we have calculated the cost of the project also. Cost of the project in thermal percentage. When we calculate the cost of the project, for example, cost of project become equal to how many percentage? 15. Equal to 10 percentage. In this case, we have to accept the project. Why? Because return of the project is 15 percentage. But the required rate of return or cost of the project is equal to how many percentage? 10 percentage. But on the other side, if cost is greater than this one or it is just equal to this one, on that case, it should not be accepted. Right? Why? Because the, if return is less than the cost, so what is the logic to accept the project? So simply, we can say profitability index is the rate of return, uh, which, uh, which shows the profitability of the project in thermal percentage or it is just the rate which uh, equal the inflow of the project with outflow of the project, or it is the rate at which the PI of the project is equal to zero, right? How to decide if it is greater than cost, accept, otherwise we have to reject the project. How to calculate the PI, uh, the internal rate of return or IRR? These are the steps that we have to do for calculating the IRR. Step number one, find out factor. What is factor? We will explain what is factor. But first of all, of course, we have to know the calculation of factor. Factor is equal to, this is a simple definition itself. Factor is equal to the initial investment divided by cash inflows. Initial investment divided by cash inflows. Here you can find out the value of the factor. So how we can find out the value, what is the purpose of this one, we will explain with the example. But for the time being, just follow the steps. Step number two, then find out the positive net present value. And step number three, find out the negative net present value. So doesn't matter first you find out the positive or first you find out the negative, but one NPV should be positive and one NPV should be negative. How can you calculate? We will do it inshallah. And step number four, then you have to apply the interpolation formula. What is interpolation formula? This, this is interpolation formula. IRR is equal to L plus P1 minus Q divided by P1 minus P2 into H minus L, right? What is L? L means lower discount rate. What is lower discount rate? We will explain with example. But for the time being, consider this formula. P1, P1 sorry, first of all, H. L lower discount rate, H means higher discount rate. P1 means present value at lower rate, present value at this rate. And P2 means present value at higher rate, it means present value in this rate. And what is this? We'll explain. And Q means the net outlay. Net outlay means, of course, the cost of the project, right? 
So this was the simple step for the uh, calculation of the IRR. Find out factor number one, initial investment divided by in inflow. Then find a positive and negative in PV, then apply the interpolation formula. This is the interpolation. L means lower discount rate, H means higher discount rate, present value at lower rate, present value at higher rate, and this is the initial amount of investment of the. In order to understand this one completely, please follow the next video to solve the question.